Okay, everyone, so now it's time to do a couple smaller, more convenience factor projects on the camper. Um, first thing we're gonna start with is this RV screen door crossbar. And it's a pretty popular modification for full wheel campers, um, but it's just this bar that goes somewhere like there on the screen. So let's go ahead and get that installed. First thing we gotta do is mark on the bar where we need to mount the holes that keep it from sliding open and close. Now that the hole's mounted, we are going to drill a pilot hole here so that we can screw it into the sides. Alright, next we're going to go ahead and put the screws in here so that way it stays this length permanently. Alright, now it's going to go verify that this fits. It's about in the middle there, and now we're gonna mark one of the holes, put a screw in it, and then mark the other ones. Uh, I'm just gonna come in here, make sure everything looks level with the door itself. Got this test mounted and we'll make sure it shuts before we go ahead and drill the other holes in there. Good to go. So now we'll do the last two and tighten it all down. And here's a look at how it's easier to close inside here. And then also may use it for dish towels or just kind of dry some clothes or something if we need to. But overall, super easy add and uh, definitely gonna be more functional. Okay, so now that we have the handle installed in the back door, um, the next step is to build the platform under the camper that lets it sit in the bed of the truck. Um, so I'm gonna raise the camper up, look underneath it and see how many boards I think we're gonna need. Definitely easier with two people, but that's good enough that I can pull the trailer out and then take a look at the bottom of the camper and see just what we'll need for the truck. All right, so now we can see what the bottom of the camper looks like. And basically what I'm gonna do is just build these down two and a half inches um, and that'll give it enough room to clear the bed rails on the truck. All right, so we are Headed to Home Depot, gonna get some two by threes and then a bunch of wood glue and maybe some other miscellaneous things. I think that's gonna be enough. It's a quarter inch higher than the platform that we used to use whenever we were taking it in and out. Um, and obviously I would like to not have to do that again. So um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. All right, that was nice and quick. Got six two by threes, eight feet long. Um, it might be one or two too many, but I figured I'd rather start start with too much and then end up being return some later. But uh, now we're going to go back and start cutting them and see what we can do with it. So thankfully I was able to find six boards that are all really pretty straight. So the first thing that we're going to do is cut one to fit on the frame. And it's going to run all the way down the side with a one and a half inch gap on the front and a one and a half inch gap on the back.
and here's a look at the first board. Um, just a couple of pocket screws in there to make sure the glue dries nice and just a little bit extra support. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that on the other side and then we'll do the front and the back. All right, so we got this board cut to 77 inches and that's just long enough to allow for a two by three to fit on the front and the back side of the bottom of the floor. Here we're gonna drill some pocket holes in this, that way it can hold the board up while the glue dries against the floor of the camper. sides are finished and the glue is drying we're gonna go ahead and cut the board that goes along the back side of the camper um, this is gonna sit flush with the siding and we're gonna do the same thing with pocket holes and glue to let it dry all right and there we go we have the outside box framed in um, next after a little bit we're gonna let this dry and then we're gonna add the cross members in there All right, so we have another beautiful Colorado day, and we're going to go ahead and get this um, floor extension finished up and then kind of see what other little projects we can do on the camper today. So we're going to do two more 77-inch beams down the center, and then we'll do a couple joists in between them. But we'll go ahead and get those cut now and go from there. So now we have all four of these joists in, glue's gonna set, and then we're gonna add some cross members in there. And that's complete. We added two joists on each side, and then I went ahead and put a two by six in the center just to keep these from moving around at all. But that should be it, and that should be enough to clear the sides on the Ram 1500. All right, so I'm gonna let that glue dry. That way, whenever we set it on the trailer, it doesn't glue to the trailer. Um, so we're gonna give that a couple hours. I'm gonna clean up the garage, and then we're gonna look at what we can start up next. Now that we have the platform under the camper finished up, we're gonna go ahead and insulate it. We have here is two inch thick, just foam board insulation. Don't really have to do this, but we figured since we already have it all cut and open, we might as well go ahead and do that. So we're gonna start measuring and get these pieces cut. All right, that's the first piece here. pretty good fit there so let's go ahead and get the rest of this done and then we may go in and put some spray foam insulation on the sides to keep it up there but we'll worry about that later and we're using a Milwaukee hacksaw in here with a metal blade and it cuts through this foam board pretty easily all right now that we have the process down we're gonna go ahead and cut the rest of the pieces of insulation that go in the bottom of the camper 
and then we're going to use some window spray foam to seal it all together. <laughs> Definitely not the prettiest foam job, but we're gonna let that dry for a couple hours and then come back and try to clean it up. All right, went ahead and cleaned up all the parts that were drooping down, and I think that's gonna go ahead and wrap it up for the insulation on the bottom of the camper. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up for building the platform underneath the camper. Um, I think that's gonna be it for this week's video. Kind of a boring video, but it's something that we really had to do because we couldn't use the camper in the truck if we wanted to right now. Um, so a long time coming on that. I think it's gonna work out great. And now we're just gonna go ahead and clean up the garage and just kind of get things ready and figure out what's next.